My name is Martin Ansaldúa. I am the CEO to Grupo Rio San Juan, a uh, construction company and real estate development company over there in, in Reynosa. How long has the, been, the company been going, Martin? Since the late 50s, since 1958. So he, you didn't start this? No, 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 no. His founder is Ramiro Garza Cantú. Okay. He's an icon in Tamaulipas and he is uh, our boss and uh, he uh, taught us how to do things. Well, uh, I, I hope I, uh, I uh, learn uh, uh, a lot of what he uh, knows and uh, apply it to, to the current uh, things we do so in the company. So tell us what those things are. What, what does the company specialize in these days? Uh, mainly uh, land development in Reynosa for industrial, commercial, and housing. And we uh, uh, have our uh, reserve of land in the west side of Reynosa. So if you visit there, you will notice certain thi uh, things uh, different from other places in, in Reynosa because of the details we put on, on, on our work. Uh, wider streets, uh, a little thing of uh, um, more order in, in, in what we do over there. Mm -hmm. Am I right in thinking you have an industrial park? We developed two industrial parks. The first one was uh, a, a Parque Industrial del Norte, del Norte Industrial Park, and the other one is Villa Florida Industrial Park. So right now we're thinking about uh, make an, an expansion for Villa Florida because we are almost in the end of, of what we have there. So we're, we're planning on expanding Villa Florida Industrial Park. So is business expanding sort of organically or have you, in, as the reassuring phenomenon, non um, influence that? Well, it, it, it has, uh, uh, um, uh, obviously, but uh, that's something that we do um, um, periodi periodically um, uh, for uh, uh, the industrial side of, of, of uh, our company. Uh, as you know, the border is very attractive for, for investment, for uh, uh, manufacturer companies and stuff. So we need to uh, be able to get ready when, when they want to, to come in. And uh, there's uh, a lot of players. We are competing with uh, Nuevo Leon, with Coahuila, with uh, even Querétaro and Guanajuato. But we have something that they don't. What, what we have here is the brotherhood between Reynosa and the Rio Grande Valley. And that's only here. And we have to take advantage of that. So that's your selling point? Uh, yes, yeah, one of them, one of them. But yeah, it, it makes us different from an other places. Because I've read reports that Tamaulipas as a state hasn't really benefited, certainly not as much as Nuevo León. Well, it, we, we have different uh, ways of doing things. And uh, in Tamaulipas, uh, uh, we have seven uh, different, um, how do, uh, do I put it? Um, like divisions, because you have the border in, in the north, and uh, you have uh, the center with uh, um, um, Ciudad Victoria, and you have Tampico, Madero, Altamira in the south. So you have um, border crossings, you have uh, a sea, and uh, we are everywhere and with very different um, uh, objectives, e each uh, 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 of the seven sectors. So, and we are coming out of a pandemic and during COVID-19, we were like, what are we going to do? Everyone was uh, inside their houses and uh, thinking about I it is the end or what. So we kind of stopped our production waiting for 
what is going to happen. And Nuevo León was ready for the first day. So, that, and they are in the same place. Everything in Nuevo León is Monterrey. Out of Monterrey, there's nothing. So uh, they, they uh, uh, put all their, their efforts in, in one uh, place and that's why they, they are uh, very successful. And, and here in Tamaulipas, we are uh, north, uh, center, and, and south. Uh, with a lot of things to do, uh, thank God, uh, but, but we need to, to work on making a team and join the efforts uh, for one objective. And we're working on that. So before I move on to the BTA, is there anything else you want to say about your work and your company's work? Well, uh, we, we believe that there's a lot of opportunities right now because of the companies that want to be closest to, to the United States, the number one client in the world. And uh, we, because of what we have been doing and what we have in reserve over there in Reynosa, we think that we can do a lot and um, take advantage of th those opportunities. And we, we are working on that, yeah. Thank you for that. So let's move on to the Board of Trade Alliance Mexico. Yep. Um, I understand from one of your colleagues in the team who is, I believe, the President, eh? Joaquin Spammer. Yes. You're in a, in a growth mode right now. BTA Mexico is becoming bigger, and you've got a, a sustained plan to, to, to become more relevant. That's correct. And uh, with Joaquin, things are always uh, big. So... Uh, big, <laughs> but 100 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, he, he's nonstop. Uh, but uh, yeah, BTA Mexico, uh, was born because of the need of having someone taking care of business in the Mexican side. BTA USA is uh, a, a very good organization, very um, with uh, lots of uh, work and, and, and companies working for them. And we want to do the same in, in, in Mexico. So you're a sister organization. That's right. That, 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 that's the, uh, the word, sister organization. And we are trying to uh, uh, connect from Brownsville to San Diego. Everyone in the border, and uh, not, o not only the border, we're talking with people in, in Nuevo León, in Coahuila, in uh, uh, Ciudad de Mexico. Uh, we need a team of um, people that wants to uh, a make a, a, a work together for, for just one objective, logistics and um, raise the, the, the level of uh, uh, the work that we, we do in, in Mexico all over the place, not just in one or two or three uh, big cities. I, I believe that uh, uh, Mexico has a lot to, to offer to the world, and it's just, uh, it's, uh, we're closer to that. Uh, I, I, I think that uh, day by day, uh, everyone is uh, uh, taking notice that the only way to get bigger is to get together. And, um, and that is what we are trying to do in BTA. Mexico. How long has this chapter been going? Since uh, 2013, for, uh, 15, 2015, something like that. Uh, it started with uh, uh, Rigo Villarreal as president, then it was me, then Eduardo Garza from uh, Laredo, and uh, nowadays is uh, Joaquin Spammer. But Joaquin, uh, he was president after me in Covifer. That's uh, an, an organism from Reynosa and, and the Rio Grande Valley. And he moved it, uh, he made it bigger. So I, th I, I think uh, we, we can do a lot of things together. And 
uh, with the um, 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 uh, leadership of uh, Joaquin, we, we can do so are you very, are very. You, are you filling a void before BTA Mexico was started? Was there any other organizations doing similar work, or have you just created your own niche? Let Let me put it this way: There's a lot of uh, uh, organizations looking for uh, uh, this objective, but everyone is working. Yeah, as a single group. So the efforts are this big. If we add everyone, we will have an effort this big and we, uh, we will be heard everywhere. And uh, um, I, 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 I am pretty sure that's the way to go. What's the feedback been as you try to get new members? I mean, at no. first, at first, it's like mm, I don't know. Let me see. But when they uh, get to know what we are doing and who is participating, they say, "Okay, I'm in." So yeah, it, it's working. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add about that, Martin? We're waiting for everyone to come to the Rio Grande Valley and Reynosa and get to know the offer that we we have, what we can do, and what we can make for them to get successful in what they uh, um, invest. So any individuals or companies that want to connect with you, how do they do that? Uh, there's a, 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 a web page, btamexico.com and gruporiosanjuan.com. Yeah, you will find us. Thank you very much. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for today's interview. Thank you. Thank you, Steve.